In this video, we are going to learn all about exponential functions. An exponential function is a function in which the variable is the exponent. The form of that is y equals a to the x, where a is a constant value and a is greater than zero, but also a cannot be equal to one. So this x is the variable that's being manipulated. A good way to understand exponential functions is by looking on a graph. I like using just a regular graphing calculator, but when graphing on my computer, I use the Desmos graphing calculator, which is a free online calculator. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now remember, exponential function is in the form of y equals a to the x. So a is going to be our constant. Let's say a is 2 and we have our variable to the x. So this is y equals 2 to the x. You can see, going to the left, the graph will continually get smaller, but never cross the x-axis. The intersect point is at 0, 1, because any constant raised to the 0 is just 1. And it's exponential because we're getting exponentially greater, or the slope is getting steeper as we go up. Zooming out, you can see that we haven't even reached 10 in the x yet, and we're already well above 10 in the y direction. Zooming out more, you can see how quickly this function grows. Let's look at another, say 3 to the x. Again, it crosses through the point 0, 1, but the 3 is even steeper than the 2. If we were to look at 4 to the x, we would see the same result. The 4 would be even steeper than the 3. Growth is when a is greater than 1, so when your constant is greater than 1. Let's take 2 for example. 2 to the first is just 2. 2 squared is 2 times 2. So to get from 2 to the first to 2 times 2, we're multiplying by a 2. Then we get to 2 to the third, which again, we're multiplying by a 2, and so on. So this starts out as 2, then goes to 4, then to 8, 2 to the 4th would be 16, and then 2 to the 5th would be 32. So you can see this change is going from an interval of 2 right here all the way up, and here is an interval of 16. So it's increasing drastically. However, when a is between 0 and 1, that's going to be exponential decay. Let's take 1 half for an example. 1 half squared is going to be 1 half times 1 half, which would give you 1 fourth. 1 fourth is smaller than 1 half. So this is getting multiplied by 1 half. And getting multiplied by 1 half is the same as dividing by 2. Now let's look at 1 half cubed. 1 half cubed is 1 half times 1 half times 1 half, which is 1 eighth. And 1 eighth is smaller than 1 fourth. If we were to type in 1 half to the x, you can see that that is a reflection of 2 to the x. It's a reflection over the x equals 0 line, or the y-axis. So as opposed to getting greater as we go to the right, we're actually getting exponentially smaller as we move to the right. The same would be true if we did one third. One third to the x is steeper while still in the negative x. So exponential growth goes up as we increase and exponential decay goes down as we increase in the x direction. However, remember, 2 to the 0, or 1 half to the 0, or any constant to the 0 is going to cross this point, 0, 1.